Okay guys, welcome back to my channel, please subscribe if you wanna see more furniture flips, unboxings, etc, etc. Today we are gonna reupholster, and I've already begun to do it, the back panel of the mirror we are trying to restore. So what I'm gonna do is basically try to glue back all the sides after I washed this cloth. Now this cloth is a very old fabric so I didn't want to mess with it, I didn't want to throw it away, I didn't want to buy another one because it's kind of original and I kind of like the color and after all it's gonna be on the back of the mirror so <laughs> nobody should see it ever. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reglue the sides of this cloth uh, little by little using the white glue that it's like an all-purpose glue. As you can see this one is vinyl glue and in Italy we use it basically for wood, paper, um, fabrics, leather, etc, etc, etc. So what I did before beginning my video was already uh, start gluing the bottom part of the back panel because then I want to stretch out this fabric so I'm gonna cover the back in a very nice way and I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of glue because if I would have glued all the back of the panel to the fabric I would have wasted like a pound of glue and it would be kind of stupid since as you can see every time you glue a very thin fabric to something it kind of shows because obviously the fabric um, will absorb the glue and then you will be able to notice it has been glued up. So let's be honest here, it's the right choice to just glue the edges and let the back uh, as original as it could be with no glue and with just the edges uh, keeping it firmly attached to the back panel. As you can see, I um, very easily and thoroughly applying some glue on the edge of the back panel and uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna do two sides for now. Let this dry in a way that I'm comfortable pulling the fabric by the other side and then I'm gonna do uh, the other side, okay? I'm not gonna glue it too tight on this side um, because I wanna be able to pull it on the other side. There are only some defects which I'm gonna try to pull as much as possible, some holes. But other than that, on this side we are almost fine so I didn't want to spread the glue too much because it would cost me a whole lot of uh, work more and I would waste so much more glue because it would be absorbed by the panel. So uh, to be honest with you, you know, I'm just trying to keep this in place and then this panel will be screwed to the back of our mirror which means this fabric isn't going anywhere in the future. I think I can pull it a little bit, so let's try and see what happens. So guys, whenever you flip some furniture, I've never done a project like this one. Uh, I usually do projects on uh, nightstands or, you know, uh, cupboards or whatever, you know, I can find in the street so I can flip them and make some content or I just give them to the church or whatever or I sell them you know and make a little bit of pro profit uh, so whenever you do some kind of project the thing is that you have to consider you cannot spend too much money because you know after all unless you have a uh, Luigi 16 or something like that something very valuable from the Russian Revolution French Revolution whatever I mean old furniture is old furniture after all so people is not gonna pay a fortune for it at least in my country I know in America you can make a lot of money and probably in England too but in Italy unless it's something very famous and well known any old furniture it's just old furniture so they are gonna pay it for what is worth 
and they are not gonna you know <laughs> waste a lot of money on something which isn't that valuable right even though they like it uh, they really don't care I like it but I must spend the right price that's how it works in my country at least right now uh, we are in a bit of a quandary economically speaking so that is basically why um, people will not spend a lot of money on antiques or old stuff now obviously there are some exceptions I'm not saying um, everyone is cheap but well most people are <laughs> um, you know in a tough moment right here in Italy so I'm gonna be able to basically sell this beautiful mirror um, if it will turn out to be a beautiful mirror for around 20 25 30 dollars 30 euros I'm sorry so pretty basically I'm not gonna make a lot of money but it's a fun project and that's all it matters to me right now show you something fun that anybody can do because I, come on guys I'm just using some glue I'm reupholstering some parts of my uh, back panel here anybody can glue back some fabric anybody can paint some wood so even if you have kids and you wanna you know repurpose an old door and make it a standalone mirror you will be able to do it with no problem now uh, the fabric is starting to pull so obviously I have to use some clamps so it becomes a little bit of a cleaner job okay because otherwise I would be there pulling and pulling and pulling and it will detach every second so I don't want to be you know I don't want to be crazy after I finish this job As I'm starting to attach the top part of the fabric um, I think I will have to use some clamps, but let me try and see what happens, okay? Let me try with some little clamps, which should be fine. I bought these clamps, if you are from Europe, I bought them at Lidl discount. And I want to be honest, they are very nice. They, they work perfectly well, so I'm very happy about it. You know, every little clamp works very nicely with no issues. They are plenty strong for being just plastic clamps. And in the package, which I paid around 15 euros, something like that, um, altogether, uh, there were, you know, many different options. Two big ones for five euros, uh, five little ones etc 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 so you know it was a good deal so if you go to Lidl and you see these clumps just buy them they are by Parkside and they are very good obviously if you are from Europe if you are not European you don't even know what Lidl is probably so don't you worry use any kind of clump you want to use okay and now here we are we have to glue the corners now the corners are always messy if we are talking about round corners or round edges as a matter of fact but I am a bit lucky here because the person who originally upholstered this back panel uh, was you know intelligent and good enough uh, to cut in a shape or in a way uh, this fabric so it would fit I don't want to say perfectly but well enough uh, when glued to the panel so you know I'm just gonna try here my best um, to make this one fit as nicely as possible okay I'm gonna use a clamp obviously because I want this one to be holding up pretty well I don't want any creases on the other side it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise the other side because obviously you know guys we can see it right now but my experience uh, in this kind of little things tells me that um, we are going to be just fine because I pulled enough on the fabric uh, you know to make it so there is not any crease on the back of the panel and by the way I wasn't expecting this but the white uh, wood glue is holding pretty well I mean the other sides as you can see they are not clamped up and we just glue them 
um, a second ago and they are holding very well Blue so it's gonna be dry soon enough because guys here it's like 40 uh, or 34 degrees Celsius Wow you can cook eggs for real I mean it's very warm I love it because I love to be you know in a warm weather and such I love summer etc but it's almost unbearable guys it's almost unbearable okay here another clump now it's all clumped up it's all glued up and as you can see and witness we just have to wait for it to dry a little bit so i'm gonna put this one outside for some seconds then i'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other side so guys so guys as you can see there are no creases on the on the other side of the panel this is not a crease it's just a little stained but well those stains wouldn't come off uh, even though i washed very thoroughly um, the fabric but still this part is going to be on the back of our mirror so nobody is ever going to see it it's just basically um, a fabric that is used um, you know because since the frame was really a door with a mirror and is now going to be a standalone hanging mirror well what happens is that they wouldn't want to see the back of the mirror and they decorate it this way with a nice green fabric we are going to keep the fabric so we don't damage the wall when we mount the mirror so this is part three of the mirror repurposing video see you soon from unboxo ciao ciao